Well, howdy do. Look what I got here. I have the elusive IPA from Public House Brewing. Uh, Rolla St. James. The bottle actually says St. James original locations in Rolla, but I know they just opened up in St. James, so obviously that's where they're bottling this now. Oh, the aromas on this are exquisite. I'm going to read just a touch from their bottle here. It's 6.8%. Curiously smooth, hop strange, heady brew, hard to pin down, hard to put down, extraordinary. Uh, suggested glass, a tulip pint, serving temp 50 to 55. I probably have it a tad colder than that to start with. And I'm using my Diamond Bear Belgian glass here. I figured that was perfect for this beer. It pours very nice, as you can see. Uh, I don't know what you call that, kind of an amber with kind of a eggshell colored head there. Pours very nice. The head is very dense and creamy. Uh, very bright aromas. I'm getting a pine, grapefruit. Some tropical fruit notes, pineapple, maybe a little papaya in there as well. Here we go. Let's take a drink, shall we? Oh, oh man, this is a nice IPA. I bought a six pack of this as well as a six pack of the Revelation Stout. Uh, I've got one stout left, and this now now I have one <laughs> one IPA left. I meant to do a video right away, but things kept coming up, and I just want to drink it so. Sometimes it's hard to have time to sit down and actually do the video. I just started a website, TomTheBeerWhisperer.com. <laughs> if you get tired of hearing me push it, well, I'm sorry. Uh, but uh, to the point being is uh, I've started kind of focusing or refocusing more on my writing, which is how I originally started. Then I got doing the videos. and uh, I, I'm not going to quit doing the videos because I enjoy doing them. But I had said at the beginning of the year I plan on doing much less than I was before. And I kind of want to balance it with the writing as well. So here we go. Uh, this is a nice little brew pub, uh, brewery brew pub, uh, Rolla. I've been to the Rolla location. I haven't been to the same St. James location yet. I'm getting some stone fruit early on. Um, and then it breaks into more tropical fruit notes. They don't list the hop varieties in this, but I'm getting those those uh, uh, those tropical fruit notes big. Kind of papaya, mango, passion fruit kind of thing going on. There certainly is some grapefruit, grapefruit zest happening as well as some uh, juniper-like notes. All in all, it's a very nice IPA. It is. It I, they don't list the IBUs, but it feels hoppy. But it's balanced well with the malt. It is six six point eight percent. It's not necessarily a hop heads brew, but it is a very well put together IPA. It is meant, to, well, I mean, they call it smooth. Uh, yeah, it is uh, curiously smooth. It is very easy to drink. It's not the Wreck Your Palate IPA, which has become trendy popular these days. Uh, but, and, and, it's, and it's not really that classic American uh, version of the IPA either. It's sort of kind of an am amalgam of, of both. the flavors do blend well together I think that's become an issue with some that I've had is uh, it uh, I think they're trying too hard to use too many different ingredients and they end up with competing flavors this one everything kind of works harmoniously together they do mention they use six hop varieties on their website uh, and everything kind of works in unison here it's a great beer I'm not gonna run long because I want to finish <laughs> Yeah, if you, I don't know. I mean, I don't know why you would be, but if you're ever passing through Rolla, St. James, Missouri, you should stop by. Uh, you might want to, if, if you're already that far, go a little bit out of your way and hit Piney River, too. These, there are some great breweries that, that may not be along the beaten path, so you've got to find them.